Welcome to Storytime with Bill! So, today we are going to be reading If You Laugh, I'm Starting This Book Over by Chris Harris, illustrated by Serge Block. Okay, kid. You are a kid, right? I hope so. It would be weird if I were reading this book to a 56-year-old dentist. You're not a 56-year-old dentist, are you? Or maybe you're a large pineapple dressed in children's clothes. You really are a kid? Okay. If you promise you're a kid, then let's turn the page. Here's the deal. I have something that I really want to tell you. It's a big thing. I'll swirl swirls. That's why I'm giving you this very serious look right now. Look at my face. Doesn't it look serious? Before I tell you that big thing, I have to make sure that you're in a serious mood. So please, no laughing while I read you this book. Because if you laugh, I'm starting this book over. Now we'll start. And remember, from here on out, do not laugh. If I hear you laugh, then I'll go right back to page one and say, no, 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 you giggly goose. Why did you laugh? <sighs> now we have to start the book over. And look where we are, right now, good old page one. Please, please, please. <laughs> Let's try to never see this page again, all right? So, are you feeling serious? Are you going to laugh? Stare into my eyes. And promise me, I will not laugh. Whoa, that was way too fast. Stare right into my giant eyeballs and say it more slowly. I will not laugh. Go ahead, say it. Good job! But everyone knows that to make a really serious promise, you cover your mouth and say it in a super squeaky mouse voice, like this. So please, do that now. What a great start. I'm so glad you haven't laughed yet, because this was so serious. I think we need to use our real names to promise each other that we won't laugh. Have I told you my real name? This is a pretty big secret. So please, take it slow, slow. My real name is actually Chicken McStink Breath Eyeball. Do you know what your real name is? Your real name is actually Captain Funny Hair's Nose Triple! Now repeat after me. We, Mixed Ink Breath, and Funny Hair, promise not to laugh. 
Mm, that's good, but I need to stare deeply into your eyes to see if you really mean what you promised. Keep very still. Here we go. Keep very still. I'm looking, I'm looking. Whoa, you have a lot of weird thoughts. Wait, are you thinking that I'm a silly person? <laughs> and you think I'm silly because I'm scared of cute little feathers? <laughs> um, hello, don't you know that everyone is scared of cute little feathers? <laughs> They're scary. Hold on. Now you're thinking that my head looks like a giant cheeseburger. Why are you thinking that? And you're also thinking that I probably use ketchup as shampoo? That's ridiculous. I've only done that three times in my whole life. Wow. I love how plurals you're being. Remember, if you laugh, I'm turning all the way back to page one and starting over. So, whatever you do, do not think about me hitting my nose with the palm of my hand over and over again like this. You're not thinking about that, are you? Are you? Ow. Uh-oh. I can tell that you're about to laugh. Quick, think about something, something serious. Maybe something scary, like a cute yellow feather. Wait, I have a better idea. Staples aren't funny, are they? Neither are toenails or windows, right? So saying the sentence below should make you feel even more serious. Eh, I stapled my toenail to the window! Let me hear you say that over and over and over again until I decide to turn the page starting now. Wow! You're incredible! I have one last request before I tell you the big thing. To prove that you're really feeling florals, all you have to do, and this is really easy, is just float up in the air about three feet off the ground. You can float starting now. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Why are you disobeying me? I told you to float. Oh, <laughs> that's right. People can't float. Okay, fine. In that case, congratulations. You've shown me that you really are in a fool's mood. But remember, no laughing until after the book ends. So here's the big thing that I wanted to tell you. Do you know what the best sound in the world is? The best sound is by far the sound of your laughter. What? I know! <laughs> then why the heck have I been telling you not to laugh? Because I want to make sure you understand how much I mean it. Your laughter is the most wonderful sound there is. It's more beautiful than, hmm, what's the most beautiful thing I can think of? It's more beautiful than a really, really smelly pair of sneakers. It's more joyful than walking across a floor covered with thumbtacks. And I would never trade a second, a second of your laughter for anything. 
not even for the oldest pile of mashed potatoes in the world! Your laughter makes the world a happier place for everyone around you. And I mean that. Slow, slow. So, go ahead and laugh all you want you can, but not yet. The book's not over. Go ahead and laugh starting... Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But maybe right... Oh, look out. Everyone, it's a scary yellow feather. Everyone run for your lives. Oh. I guess maybe yellow feathers aren't that scary. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that? Anyway, where was I? Oh, right. Now you can laugh. <laughs> P.S. Um, from here on out, you're not allowed to stop laughing. In fact, if you ever stop laughing, then you have to give me one million dollars. I'm sorry, but that's the rule. So keep laughing. The end.